What's up, Focarunos, Peeperiners? Hello, guys, <laughs> and gals, and whatever else, everything else in between, whatever the hell you want to be. So, um, DC, we're starting early. Yes, we are. We're starting early. I'm Sean. This is Drew. Okay. Uh, we're at Comics Elite headquarters, top secret location in a deep underground warehouse that's not underground. Um, recording site Delta. Oh man, let me make sure I got my <laughs> my microphone in the house. I'm gonna put it like right here so we can hear us more gooder. All right, so uh, <clears throat> DC, we're gonna start with man and then skip it and then top 10 all in the same video. It's not even top 10 because it's like top, I have like five. Well, five and five is 10. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we'll see how things play out this week. Yes. <laughs> um, well, let's get started. Okay. So, um, don't forget, like and comment. Mm -hmm. And comment your like number because I'm giving away this whole stack. I'm giving all my books away this week. Okay. Whoa. So, yep. All, Crazy town. All 10 of them ish. Whatever we have. <laughs> okay. So, here we go. My first meh. Okay. It's meh. I'm coming out swinging. Actually, you know what? That's. Okay. Batman? Yep. I have Batman as a meh. Yeah. We have the same cover we picked. Yep. Both same cover. It's Jack. You gotta love Jack. I mean, it's the best cover. Yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it's Batman 110. Batman, Batman 110. 110. If you're listening on the podcast, think of critical podcast. Batman 110. I just, I just don't. It's kind of a meh. It was a meh for me. I mean, it wasn't a skip it. No. The story was okay. It's a soundly made comic. He's yes. fighting Peacemaker. Well, I felt like we were robbed of the fight. We only see flashes. Yeah, of it. flashes. Yes. Um. Yeah. And the, the one issue I have with this is that um, this. Tit Tynan's run is mostly focused on the other characters as opposed to Batman, which if that's a story you want to tell, that's cool. That's great. You know, but I would prefer shouldn't, you do that again. Like detective shouldn't comics. Shouldn't do it. Yeah. Don't Batman. put it in the title that's called Batman. Batman. Yes. I just, uh, yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's the story's going, the story goes on. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. So, hey, you know, it's not fantastic. Yes. <laughs> and to be fair, it's been amazing so yeah. far. It's been fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot, and this is just kind of eh. If it was a full on, if this issue was a full on fight between him and the Peacemaker, it probably would have been a recommend. Probably would have been the strongest. Yeah, but we didn't really get yeah. that. Which yeah, fortunate. All right, so it's a man for both. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, next man. She got. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Zero That's point. Zero point. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it ends. Yeah. It's okay. Well, I, quote unquote. I, Ends. It ends. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a minor key. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the mm -hmm. boss's name again? Doctor Sloan. Sloan. Doctor Sloan, the boss, at the end of Fortnite season seven. I don't mm -hmm. play Fortnite. Sorry. So I, do I. I yeah. interwebbed it. Mm -hmm. I had to interweb it. Um, she makes her first appearance at the end with some other so, nefarious DC villains. If yeah. Right if you if you think. Fortnite characters being in DC is a thing, then get it. If you're liking it in any way, you're going to get it for the code. So it's just kind of, there's one kind of cool moment when they get back to the DC universe. Yes. There, when, when Batman and Catwoman finally remember, yeah. there's a great moment there. Yeah. Yes. They kind of remember. And it's well written because it's yeah. exactly how they should react yes. in DC mm -hmm. continuity. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about yep. that. Yep. <laughs> I have another man. Do you have another man? I've got three more men. Okay. Well, here's my next man. It's Swamp Thing. Yeah. Likewise. I just yeah. so first time for me. It's an it's an man. First I'm time. really now. This is a great cover though. By Ballin, this is the best cover I would say probably this week of any of the comics. It's super good. Yes. It has a very uh. I, I first I thought it was maybe Kirkham. Yeah. I mean, it has a very Kirkham. The detail in the in the uh, veins, the uh, swampy vein. Things you think about how the long Ballin has been doing this now, he's still able to do this. It's super it's good, it's ridiculous. Yes. Yeah, um, I mean, I'll start and I'll let you wrap it up because okay. you're, <laughs> you're a much bigger Swamp Thing fan than yes. me. Yes, I just so I have trouble getting into Swamp Thing, okay. Admittedly, mm -hmm. I just I can't, I do enjoy Swamp Thing, I just can't get into it. I wind up thumbing through it because I'm just kind of like, I just don't care about mm -hmm. the character, I never really connected mm -hmm. with the character, so again. For me, I thought the art was pretty good. It's it's a step down from Perkins, but it's okay. It's definitely a step down from Perkins. Yeah. Um, but I thought that was still still pretty good. Yeah. I just didn't resonate with him. He's kind yeah. of a man. If you're a big yeah. Swamp Thing fan, you're gonna want to get it. Um, if you really could care less about mm -hmm. Swamp Thing, you don't have to get it. 
So there you go. I would say if you're more of a Constantine, Constantine fan, you will enjoy this because it's more about him. <sighs> yeah, than anything else. I and, just don't like him. Yeah, and I don't this, get into John Constantine. As it, soon as he shows up, I'm just kind of like, oh, here we go, this guy again. And he's snorting magical cocaine to he, he smokes fix a problem. And he, he smokes and he knows things. He's <laughs> yes. like the he's like the you know the Game of Thrones uh, smoking yeah version of that character yeah anyway. th this story i mean it's it's a very convoluted weird story involving magic bombs that landed in england in world war ii that didn't go off it's weird it's ram v trying to be alan moore but not as good as alan moore it's yeah. okay at best it's nah i just mad i yeah. mad it but with the, the the um the teaser at the end what they're leading to that's what i'm looking forward to i can't wait for that okay so now let's i don't have any more mez so go ahead and do your mez i've got a nice house in the lake oh you dirty bastard now, look i mean it's not a skip it all right it's, okay it's a soundly made comic i'm not lying about that okay it's a soundly made comic okay however however me having watched every zombie movie under the sun watching twilight zone outer limits post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic scenarios of people living in a house trying to survive maybe kill trying to kill each other yeah it's like this isn't new to me okay however if you haven't seen most zombie movies have not seen the twilight zone or outer limits you'll probably enjoy this whereas me it's redundant for me as someone as old as me who's been exposed to all this stuff yeah i i hear you what you're saying okay. mm -hmm. i've seen them all too mm -hmm. i got you oh i just watched one on netflix uh black not Mirror. Black Friday. No, not Black. Real Black Friday. Black Friday. That's Black like, that's World. That's the comic we read. No, not Black Mirror. Black Mirror is amazing. Yeah. There's a zombie series out. Oh. It's so good. There's only two seasons. I watched them all like mm -hmm. super fast. God, it's Black something. I, now I gotta find it. Tell you guys. Help me out in the comments, guys. What is it? <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God, you gotta watch it. Like anyway. I said, I mean, it's it's a good. Con I mean, if, if I would say if I hadn't been exposed to all this stuff, I'd probably be like, this is amazing. But yeah. I'm like, it's, it's so. It's. I like that they're telling the story. It's. I. The title's "Nice House on the Lake." Mm -hmm. We're very much contained to the house on the lake. Mm -hmm. Yes. We hear what's happening outside the lake. Mm -hmm. You get a brief glimpse. They describe it, but it's about these people in the house, how they got there, the guy that brought them there, their relationship with this dude who is an alien, mm -hmm. right from the first uh, issue episode. Anyway, I'll say more of my thoughts on this mm -hmm. in a little okay. bit. But got it, man. But like I said, it's not a bad, it's a good comic. It is a good comic. I'm not lying about that. Yeah. All right. What's your next Matt? My next Matt is Justice League Infinity number one. This was just weird. This one was weird. So I'm going to go ahead and start my skip. skip it, it, okay. Go for it. I do. Because it's my skip it. <laughs> I, do not, I do not blame it for you. It, this, this had a lot of clunky dialogue. And so I'm an older reader. And I. Yeah, you are. Good, like you. <gasps> and yeah. Shut your mouth. Uh, so I grew up reading Martian Manhunter in the 80s in the Justice League. He is the heart of, ju of the Justice League. He would never leave the Justice League. He would never give up the Justice League. They've, they've told stories like this where he wound up coming back. And it just, it never really, it doesn't, I don't buy it that he would just leave and retire to be an, an Indian woman in disguise. I don't yeah. get that at all. That does not make sense. Yeah. yeah. I just felt like I was reading a kid's book. It, yeah, I, mean, I feel like I was a kid. The art is is it's it's, got the, it's got the animated series look. To it, it. I yes. thought I was reading a kid's book. Mm -hmm. Even the last page, mm -hmm. the last page should have been so powerful mm -hmm. when this crazy ass version of Superman shows up, and it looks it looks childish, it looks cartoonish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just it the feel of the art does not match mm -hmm. the feel of the book at all for me, no. and I felt confused. Yes, I, I was. Conf I'm like. None of this. I'm just like none of this feels right. It just does not. Yeah, does not click. Like, with me like if you were watching the Smurfs as a kid, but it was drawn in the style of Ren and Stimpy, <laughs> you would probably be very confused, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what is this? It doesn't match. Anyway, it doesn't match. Yeah, it's total skip it for me. Yeah. Don't even bother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't blame you for that. Yeah, it's very odd. <laughs> okay, my next. What's your skip it? My you skip have one skip it. Yeah, we'll skip it. The Conjuring. Oh the lover. yeah, let's do it. I love to shit on this. This book. one, holy shit balls! It went somewhere I did not think it was going to go, and so our main heroine is a closeted lesbian, and the ghost is haunting her, and scaring her, and saying that no one will love her or like her. And that's what I took from it. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's it is I, odd. I, I wound up. I I skimmed the book. 
I was skimming it. it. It's, it's bad. So you really liked the first issue, though, didn't I did. You? It was a good Yeah, was you good. liked the first one. Yes, and I did. And then I'm like, do not tell me this is the premise of this. And I'm like, uh, you got to be kidding me. So it I just, just did it. I couldn't even get into the oh first my. issue. I just felt like <laughs> it's kind of a huge pass for me anyway. The movie was good. I love the movie. Don't get me wrong. I just... I just could I can't get into this. There, there's a couple of cool uh, art scenes in there. A couple mm -hmm. scenes that are drawn very well, I guess. Mm -hmm. Art scene, a scene that is drawn very well in the comic. The backup story is the best part. I love the backup. story. Yeah, but it was pretty it's, good. It's, it's I just, yeah, just I just don't think you need you don't to save your money. You don't yes. need to read this, guys. I yeah. just don't think it's for four it's, bucks. It's, it's not, not worth four bucks. Yeah, <laughs> there's going to be more cool stuff this week to Absolutely. get. Absolutely. All right, and my I have another skip it is uh the adventures batman adventures i just why well, i mean i i mean why bother for me i mean it's kind of a why bother because uh, the court of owls is in it the yes. story seems okay man. you like that man you're big fans of those i just yeah. can't it's the it, again it's the kids it's the kids book it's it's Kid, Batman's wearing a tiara the whole freaking time. It looks like it looks it's stupid to me. It's explained in issue one it why he has it, stupid. who he got it from. <laughs> he he could wear a magical whatever the crap fa uh, fairy tutu outfit that explains why he needs it. Doesn't change the fact it's a fairy tutu outfit. He looks like ridiculous wearing this thing on his head. I just I could not like this at all. I'm you may like it. I couldn't. So I get two different opinions yes, from this guy. Yes. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. So. Um, Picks. Here, picks. we go. Here we go. Top yeah. ten or top five. Right. Yeah, we'll have ten in total. Yeah, ten in total. So in <laughs> order, my number five. Uh, Justice League sixty four. Okay, I got Nice House on the Lake. Okay, so uh, we did already talk about Nice House on the Lake. Mm -hmm. um, it's a unique way to tell the story. You have you have to read a transcript in there. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you're reading a detective file, kind of. It's like a transcript, and you yeah. get a scene. Um, you might want to go back and revisit issue one. So, because it picks up right after issue one, mm -hmm. and you might need be you might you may need to be reminded of a few things that kind of happened. Like I forgot about the thing that happened to the girl's arm. I was like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. but um, I I liked it. The story goes on. It's it's number five. It's not a huge compelling like oh crap mm -hmm. issue like issue one was, but the story moves on. Remember, it's only a twelve mm -hmm. issue series, so not everyone's going to be oh my god. Mm -hmm. This was number two. Solid number two. You got to get it. Keep reading it. Nowhere near giving up on this. It's issue two. It's really good. Go for it. Justice League 64. Reading this comic was so damned interesting because, to me, we get both the very best and the very worst out of Bendis in this comic. Okay. So Tell um, me more. When it comes to writing the street-level characters in this, Green Arrow and Black Canary, he is the king. He is the greatest. Oh uh, yeah, I agree with it, that. I was almost in tears reading their with their conversation. I'm like, this yeah. is perfect. But the second it transitions to everyone else, he makes I them so relatable to the street, exactly. like so, the regular yes. people. They're yes. regular people. They're so believable. The dialogue is believable. I'm like, I love this. But the minute we get to Aquaman training with Naomi and Black Adam, I'm like, this is flipping stupid. I don't buy this for a minute. Yeah. To me, it just yeah. I, it took me out of it. But so I am suggesting you. Buy this for the Black Canary Green Arrow stuff in this. It is fantastic. Bendis does have it in him. He can do it. He just doesn't do it. <laughs> just, there's many, many. This is in my this is coming up later, also in mine. Mm -hmm. Many first appearances yeah, in a it. Lot. Yes. A major baddie is in here. Mm -hmm. they, there's another, well, it could be a major baddie anyway. Yes. This whole other team who was introduced is freaking out because this bad guy got away from him and it shows up to the Justice League's world. Mm -hmm. They got to fight them. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the next one. Mm -hmm. um, I've enjoyed the Justice League's for the last few issues. It's had this couple, the Black Adam mm -hmm. stuff is kind of eh, yeah, out yeah. there. They're kind of reinventing the character for the movie coming out, but I've enjoyed it for the I, most part. And it, this continues yes. my enjoy -ness -ness of it. I've been kind of like, I've been always teetered on it, but now mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it more. After this focus of the, more or less half the comic on Black Canary and Green Arrow, I'm like, I want more of yeah. this. I want yeah, more it was really this. well written, like you said. Yeah. Okay, number four. I got Batman The Adventures Continue, season two. <laughs> I have Suicide say? Squad, number five. And I'm going to show you a cool variant for this and announcement. At the end of the video, I got a cool announcement about this book. Okay, 
Uh, go ahead with your poopy comic. I lo- this is not poopy <laughs> in the least outside of the poop in the sewer that Batman is walking through. This issue was a lot of oh, fun. The I scene looked- doesn't happen in the comic at all. No, either. it doesn't. It was no just, lies. Um, it's lies. So Dead Man is in this. He brings a lot of levity in the story. It is hysterical. Uh, Batman and Dead Man investigate further the mystery of the Court of Owls. Which leads to a big twist at the end, which is fantastic. What, what a twist. Yeah, with a twist. And the next issue after this, get the return of the Jazz Man. Jimmy the Jazz Man. Okay. An animated series. Yeah. Play taps for Gordon. Can't wait. I, yes. never, I never got into it. You never got the animated series? Jimmy the uh, Jazz Man. Yeah, oh, I guess. Play Gordon in the hospital. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I just, that's all you, bro. <laughs> that's all you. I just am not into it. Jimmy the Jazz Man. <laughs> Uh, Suicide Squad. So I've enjoyed Suicide Squad so far. It's been mm-hmm. a good story. We're finally getting to they're in the tr- crime syndicate world, Earth 3, I believe it is. Yes. Earth 3. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. Mm-hmm. Which is this is going to feed right into my next pick. Mm-hmm. I love crime syndicate stuff. Yes. And Amanda Waller is messing around in their world, mm-hmm. as we saw in Future State. Go back and read Suicide Squad, Future State. It's super good. Um, and I love the way the storytelling is going, the pacing. Um, Peacemaker is true to his character. Amanda Wall is true to her character. Mm-hmm. We get Bloodsport in there, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. It's like I had Seeing to... what he's became. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to get to that little. We'll get to that little. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so let's go ahead and get to the next one. <laughs> yes. Number three. three. I got Wonder Girl number two. Okay. I have a uh, crime syndicate. Yeah. Uh, out so just like I said, it's mm-hmm. continuing. If you're reading Crime Syndicate, mm-hmm. you're going to want to read Suicide Squad yes. and Vicey, Versi, Versi, Vicey, and coming up Swamp Thing because they're, they're all three are going to be uh, yeah, yeah they're connecting. They, they will, yeah. yeah. So we get Johnny Quick in this one. We get yeah. his origin. Mm-hmm. Um, there's one problem I had with this. Like I had, I had it too. It's Kyle had it too. He, he was like, so yeah. <laughs> somebody dies. Mm-hmm. Not going to say what happens. It's in this issue, right? Yep. Somebody dies, and I didn't even realize they died until later on they said, hey, this person's dead. And I was like, what? Yeah. How? When did he die? Yes. And I went back and looked, and I still couldn't find where they died. Yes. Because there's no indication that they died. I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, mm-hmm. anything else, but no clue how or what happened. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I guess that happened. Yes. And like you said, you blame editorial for it. It's yeah. just there should have been a big war balloon like yes. a – whatever word is going to yes. be. I don't want to say it because it might spoil it, but yeah. something should have let us know that someone died. Yes. That's my biggest problem with it. Still fantastic. And a big key. There's a big first appearance. There is. Yes. There is a first appearance in here. Yeah. Uh, last splash page. Mm-hmm. I I had a, it's an OS moment. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. shite. Like, look at that. That's awesome. And uh, I'm very excited to see how this plans out for Ultraman. Yes. So Ultraman in this world, Kryptonite makes him strong. I'll get, it's, I'll it's get backwards, I'll get which is super yes, cool, right? Yes. There's this is a really cool moment. Really cool moment. Okay, go ahead and talk about Wonder Girl. This was a wild ride. I love this issue. Um, and I, I remember reading this, and I was like, there's, I felt like there's a long delay between issues one and two, and there was huge. Yeah, it was delayed for a long time, guys. There is a great hysterical laugh out loud scene on an airplane yeah. involving the couple. It is, it's great. It I'm not going to explain what happens, but I laughed out loud. And mm-hmm. I, I loved, I, I want to love the storytelling in this, but it felt very confusing at, at points because it felt like the time frames. I'm not sure. Cause it, there's like three stories being told in this and it's yeah. hard to tell when they're taking place. Yeah. They don't really, she doesn't really say past, present, future. Yeah. Like the it, beginning yeah. had nothing to do with how, where we wound up at the yeah. story started us in one place and we're in a completely different Place, universe, time, everything, characters by the end of the story. Yeah, and there, the two chicks that were on the airplane, they were actually with one girl later on. I'm like, wait a minute, they were just on the airplane. And yeah. I don't, I, so it's yeah. very confusing, but still, yeah, yeah. it's a lot of fun. Beautiful art. Yep. It's great. You check it out. And first appearance. Yep. Mm-hmm. First appearances, two pretty cool, badass girls in there. Yep. They look to be Brazilian Amazons, yeah, I think. Like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, they don't say their names or who they are or anything, but first appearance again, because yep. it's DC. And <laughs> I'll go ahead and just go to the next one. Talk about it. I have Wonder Girl. I got Crime Syndicate. Wonder Girl is my number two, and everything Drew said. Yes, I did enjoy this issue. The cover's pretty good too. Yeah, good solid cover. I like the issue. Key. Um, go back read issue one again because it's been a long time. You forgot what happened, and uh, super good. 
I, I love this issue from beginning to end outside yeah. of the one page panel where something big happens and where they don't. Yeah. It's the very, brushed off death. But yeah, brushed off more or less. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, he died? <laughs> and then, but and this significant. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, after reading this, I want a Heroes Reborn event like this with these guys. Yeah. After reading this, because I, I love this earth. I don't want to yeah. leave this earth. Yeah. Because they have so many characters they're bringing up now. I'm like, I want more of this. I want yeah. more of this character now. And it's uh, the 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 crime syndicate has been around, but yeah. we've never got to see them like this or their origin story, really. No, and the one to, it's like the one character he doesn't show up in this, but the Joker as the jester and he's a good guy. Yeah, that is a huge issue right there. Alan Pretty versus, crazy. Yeah, I would love to read that one shot of that. There's a weird version of Harley Quinn. Yes. There's weird versions yeah. of all these characters you think yeah. you know, but you just don't. Yeah, I'll totally reimagined and different. They're they're true to their core of who they are, but they're just completely awesome, completely different. Yes. I think it's really really well done. Yeah, and uh, blood blood show, no blood blood sport blood sport. That's our blood sport blood sport. The John Claude Van Damme movie. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, his mask in this. I'm like I had to figure. I'm like wait a minute, is that this face get more like no? That's his actual mask. That's yeah. his, I loved it. He was great. I thought yeah. it was cool too. I like yeah. that they showed him in his original form. form? Yes, because mm -hmm. I was like oh yeah, that is blood sport from the mm -hmm. 90s yeah. in that. <laughs> red bandana, bandana thing <laughs> and you see how he is now and i love that he can teleport any weapon he mm -hmm. wants to from the entire multiverse yes to himself mm -hmm. that's really cool it doesn't really work against ultraman he thinks he's got <laughs> he him thinks he's got he him, thinks yeah. he's got him on the ropes oh, yeah. he's like take that <laughs> very cool response it's hysterical i just i yeah. really guys you gotta read crime syndicate and and mm -hmm. suicide squad you yes. gotta pick those up for sure yes. and number one pick Suicide Squad. And I five. have Justice League. Mm -hmm. The reason this is my number one, because major mm -hmm. first appearance is in it. Mm -hmm. I'm loving the story. We already mm -hmm. talked about it. I'm not going to keep talking about it. Get it, get it, get it. Um, key value, story value, you got to pick this one up. Oh, I just I just realized, Blitz, he's in, I, I was reading about, I was talking about Suicide Squad. Blitz, oh, there Blitz, you go, Blitz. vice versa. We switched Correct. them up. There, yeah, it feels like it's part one and yes. part two. Yeah, because I mean, these stories are interconnecting with one, with one another. Yeah. It's just, it's. Bloodshot's in Suicide in Squad. Suicide Squad, yeah. It's terrific. The art is terrific. Yeah. A lot of seeds are being planted for crossovers. It's great. It's a great cliffhanger in this. Strong recommend. I, it, it is so much fun. Like, I mean, because for me, the trajectory of this, of, as of late before this, it was kind of going downhill. Yeah. It did it totally redeemed itself. Yeah. And, when you got yeah. the issue of with the red X in it, yeah, and I they're, bullshit they're on chasing that. the speed yes. girl or whatever. Yeah. Um, and you know, what I liked about this too is, or about the Suicide Squad mm -hmm. is sometimes splash pages are used just not really where they should be used. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt like this, the splash pages and the pacing and the storytelling, mm -hmm. the use of, the art and the comic medium, the mm -hmm. way they're telling the story was perfectly done in this. Mm -hmm. You get a Amanda Waller teaches peacemaker a lesson and you get a big shot of him, mm -hmm. you know, right where you should. It's not a little mm -hmm. tiny uh, box on the side. It's you feel like his agony, yep. the way it's drawn. You're just like, Oh, it hurts me. You're looking at that yeah. picture. I just think this, the suicide squad's really, really well done all around. Absolutely. Yes. Um, yeah. Thompson. Yeah, Robbie he's, Thompson. He's doing a great job with this. And it's great getting the other characters in this. It's like there's no more Harley Quinn. Dead shots yes. in the backseat. Yes. And it's just it's great getting these guys. Yes. There. All the uh, yeah. yeah. Like it's it. A breath of fresh air. I mean, of course, we have Peacemaker because yeah. of the movie, but mm -hmm. they're using them good. It's you yes. don't feel like it's a forced movie promo book. Doesn't feel like that at all. I, we would call it on yes. it in a minute. Yeah. In a minute, if it was just a movie promo book, mm -hmm. not at all. I mean, Marvel's guilty of that worse oh, than anybody yes. of the movie promo <laughs> books. Totally guilty of it. Um, yeah, fantastic. So there's our there's our top ten. There we go, guys. I got something cool to show you real quick here. And so do Kyle and I after you after you uh, oh, show this. Well, let me show this first yeah. before you guys show some other cool stuff. So first time showing ever, 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 ever. This is Ryan Kincaid's variant, chibi variant for Suicide Squad. Ryan Kincaid exclusive cover. This is the Chibi variant. Cover A with uh, heroes. Let me hold up one. Or... Cover B. Oh, let's put this one here. Okay. Cover B is villains. Drew, who are the villains on here? Who do you identify? We got uh, the we got the Talon. We got Killer Frost, Killer Croc, Captain Boomerang, the Joker's daughter. We got uh, Chi. Uh, um, Oh my god. Uh yeah, the, the cheetah, cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah. 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 <laughs> Duh. And, cheetah and black mask. Black mask, yep. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, you said Killer Frost is Enchantress. Oh, it's Enchantress. Enchantress. Okay. Yeah, Killer yeah. Frost on the other cover. Oh, that's right. So okay. this is the bad guy cover mm -hmm. from Ryan Kincaid. And then cover C, limited to only 1,000, is the standalone Harley Quinn chibi cover. Now, Ryan's going to be in store Wednesday signing these on day of release. This Wednesday? Coming up, Coming yes. Up? So I know some people are like, well, day of release is Tuesday for DC. We're, we're it's Wednesday. We're saying it's Wednesday, the seventh, July seventh, guys. July seventh. Ryan will be here in store. They will be available on the website or in our live sale on Facebook, and we'll also go live on YouTube. Also, in here to give you guys a chance to get these with uh, day of day of release signature. Now, what's that mean? If you don't want it graded, there'll be a COA, a day of release COA for each book, and CBCS has agreed to annotate the label. Will say. It'll be yellow label. It'll say signed day of release by Ryan Kincaid. So we got confirmation from CBCS that they will they will do that. Of course, we're witnesses and facilitators for CBCS. So that's going to happen this coming up week. Enjoy the 4th. We'll give you plenty of time to buy it on the website or to buy it, um, buy it in the live sale mm -hmm. on Facebook or YouTube. Yep. So what do you guys got over here sneaking around so, in your backpack? So, uh, dear viewer, uh, you may not be aware, but Sean's birthday is coming up. Oh, get out of Monday. here. Yep, oh, it is, man. yes. So, you uh, ass clowns. So, so Sean did a homage cover many <sighs> moons ago to one of his favorite X-Men covers by Jim Lee. Oh, it's geez. one of mine. And uh, Kyle and I were trying to figure out a good gift for Sean. You know, it would be good to go up on his wall. And... Bear in mind, it's not the original. I wish we had the money for this one, but it is the X Men oh, 274. Shit, look at that. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going in my home office. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you so much, man. You're a douchebag for <laughs> dropping this on me like that. Both of you guys. Freaking Kyle, not Kevin, too. He's over here hiding behind the camera. You can't see him. <laughs> this is awesome, man. Thank you guys so much. Man, this looks like it's it's legit, like the real thing. Yeah, I th I think the you guy can, you yeah. can see where they cut the. Uh... This guy has the. I think he has the original pages, and he scans them. Oh and makes, yeah, he, sure. He Tell them. me about that. Yeah, this is crazy detailed. Look at that. That is so cool. You can see the yellowing around the box. Like, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate that. Yep, you're welcome. <laughs> I did do an homage to this. I yes. did. Mike DeBalfo drew a very cool, naughty, and nice homage to this, uh, with the girls on it. Man, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate okay, that. No. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. That's super cool. Okay, so um, you can't win that, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is Sean's forever. Um, well, hey, thank you very much. Uh, have a great Fourth of July, guys. Um, like, like, comment, do all the things That's to bad. win some things. You're gonna win all my picks right here. You're gonna win them all—the good, the bad, the ugly, whole nine yards. You know what to do. Buy what you like, collect what you want, don't listen to the haters. Have a great 4th of July, and we'll talk to you guys.